So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. Unmistakably, this is the Camp Nou, staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter. I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. And already we're underway here. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining. But fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. And he heaves it forward. Vardy. Tevez! Saved only by poor finishing. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Tries to get it forward quickly. He slid it through. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. That's another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it. And Dyke concedes a free kick for that. Here it comes. Big, he's tried one. Yes, it's there! And right on half-time, that is telling. The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. the whistle the first half of the final has flown by genuinely interesting game here very very watchable two goals one each so we've had the first 45 minutes of the final Jim how's it looking for you I think both teams have played their part in what's been a, a pretty tight affair and this is exactly the type of match now when the better players can come to the fore and make all the difference Liverpool head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge.
whistle goes, we're off and running. Liverpool can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Vardy. Vardy! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Done very well to intervene. And the break is on. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Can he put it away? Well, they've broken out here, and this could be the moment. Modric with a long pass. So the ball's gone out of play, and a change is upcoming. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Cesar. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Coutinho. Now it's stock. Just wouldn't be beaten there. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Nothing to separate them. We have extra time. Yeah, this has been a hard for game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition. Sometimes that is the reward or the goal. So just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So all square. We need a winner. And we will be back for extra time. And we're up and running. Modric. Now it's Philippe Coutinho. Now it's Stock. Looks to clip it forward. Came towards the front men. It's come loose. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Looking to shoot. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Half time, extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some left drama in the final 15 minutes of this episode. We are already back on the way. So, time for a bit of smash and grab. Being played forward. Fardy! Is it in? And that would have won it. Taken short. And it's hoisted clear. Liverpool certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Shot a goal! It's there! Two ahead! Late in the day! Game over, surely! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach.
Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Liverpool, and time is up. Liverpool have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. What a moment this is for all connected. It is a day for pride, a day of glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.